CIT 12 students, it is Friday and I'm getting ready to head out for the weekend and I just kind of realized something that I think I didn't realize about my IT lab that I think will help you, okay? Um, it won't clear up everything, but um, as I said, I am giving more time and I have written up some instruction for how to submit the practical exam although you do have another week on that and I will cover that next week in lecture so let me turn to the screen and show you what I mean okay so in my IT lab under the trainings and you can do this by either looking at the attempts or you can actually just open up one I, and I wouldn't normally say this, but I'm going to say this. I'm just going to say, I'm going to click on one that I haven't attempted yet. Okay. And again, I'm only doing this to show you some information that I think might be really helpful. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit submit. Click OK. And of course I'm going to get zero on it, right? But you have multiple attempts. I've given you pretty much unlimited. But here's what I wanted to show you. After you do that, if you click on here and you say view submissions, what it gives you, and I highly recommend, so I'm going to click on it, so I'm going to slow down here, click on my submission, give it a minute, and inside of here, it's going to show you the exact step-by-step -step you need to do to complete those items and I mean all of the items okay so if it was me I would do this I would just go through here and what I'm clicking dragging and holding because if you do control A by the way this won't work now by the way this is a long document but it's a great document because it'll tell you step-by-step -step how to complete all of these items now there is a print while I'm doing this. If you look up, there is actually a print up there. And but I'm going to select the whole thing. And then what you could do is copy and paste it into a document, whatever word processor you wanted to use. Again, a very long document, but very, very helpful, especially if you're trying to look for alternative ways to complete items or steps that don't, for some reason, on your computer uh, work. Okay, it's almost to the end here. Uh, it, this is a nice uh, bit of information to have. And what I would do is I would copy. Okay. And here's what I would do. Go into whatever word processor you use. And you could go use Google Docs for this as well. Okay. And then I, I'm going to paste this into to a doc. Okay. To what, again, whatever document I wanted. I'm going to paste this. And then when I'm doing the training and the exam, I can come back in here and look at the different ways to complete this work. Now there's probably some cleanup, okay? We could do to get more information on each. It's writing the document right now, actually. Wow, look at that, 125 pages. That's huge, I would not print this out. Uh, you definitely could be, and we could actually use this as uh, an example of just how to lay out things differently. Or in fact, you should know now uh, how to actually change some of this, but I won't get into that now. More than anything, I want you to know how to find this information, right? So it actually gives you step by step how to complete this stuff. Very, very, very helpful. Okay, and it gives you so when you're taking the uh, and when you're taking the lessons, you look up these uh, activity numbers and you go through and look at the different ways because they'll tell you how to do it on the ribbon, how to do it on the keyboard. Okay, the second option of doing it on the ribbon, and there's just in fact, let's go up to the very top because now that I've said that, I want to view. There we go. That's what I was looking for. It's looking for the view ruler, right? Because one thing you can do, and by the way, this is actually something that my IT and teaches you. Um, notice how these over here, right? So we could actually go in here, and um, I believe we can just do this, stretching that out. See what I did? Is I pulled that over, so now we should have less pages because it's going to put more information on each page. 
Okay, so you could even do that over here, and actually we could keep going a little further over uh, to to get even less pages and more content. Right, so this is where uh, knowing how to manipulate documents is good, and I just want to show you this little technique that I think some of you may uh, use and become more successful with uh, my IT lab. All right, talk to you next week.